What's going on everybody? Good morning. It's um, 6.28, just about 6.30. My plan is to leave the house at 6.30 this morning and go and try to catch some bass. Um, one of my uh, friends on Facebook and subscribers is telling me he's giving me some pointers today. So I'm going to go meet him over at a lake and kind of show me the ropes for bass fishing, what he likes to do, and you guys will get to meet him in a little bit here. I don't know, I didn't ask him how he felt about me videotaping the trip, so we'll have to just see how that goes, but come along for the ride, it's going to be a good one. Well, everybody, this is Norm Wood. He, uh, he's a local uh, expert on the lake, so to speak. Um, won't go into too much detail. You can if you want, but he definitely knows his way around the bass fishery. Yeah. Um, he's going to take me out in the drift boat and show me some stuff and see what we can come up with. Yeah, we're going to see if we can catch the big ones today. Right. Guys, tell me in the comments how many you think we're going to catch. I think I'm going to catch 10, and I think they're going to be between 8 and 12 pounds. What do you think? Uh, we'll be struggling, but they're out there. Okay, well, maybe we'll catch some 4-pounders or something like that. I don't know. Try that little small little thing I was running a second ago. It'd be about the right size for a little baby bass to pack, probably. Yeah. Back in the day when we first come out, we sure caught a lot of trout off these minnows. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, this is, ooh. I had something. Yeah, I think the, the probably the magic here is that I didn't sleep in till 11. Yeah, it's getting here early. Now that's a good log down there. There's mm -hmm. there's a bass under that. Two of them, man. Yeah. No, I'm just I know they're there. I see it. Got the. She seen me first, so I'm not fishing. Trying to fish for her. Not gonna work. Too many way that works. Two years. Oh. Interesting how it just sits there in the weeds watching. Yep. It's hard to not let them see you though. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Ah, coming to me a little bit. to see them big old bass. Ooh, there's another little bass yeah. coming into play. Same little area. Ooh, I just got hit by that little one. Yeah, I see him. Okay, I got a bass down there looking. He's sniffing it, but he hasn't picked it up yet. Yeah. Right. Oh, he sees your banjo minnow. There's two of them there. Yep, yep. He's coming right for your minnow. 
That's a big one too. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Waterfall. All right. Look at those bass. Take it, get it. Oh, he's got to take it. Here's another one that just came out. Here we go. See what they do to this thing. Oh, they don't have any interest in it. She's looking at it. She's looking hard. Let's throw that crawdad at it. Little circles all over there. You see that? Yeah. All those are the bluegill nests. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Look at that big bass too. Okay, everybody, this rod's got a dragonfly <laughs> as a friend. He's pointing his nose at it. Shake it every once in a while and start coming off. Yeah, we just reach down and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> At least thinking about it, he didn't know what to do. Circling. Here, ambush time. Pick it up. Checking it. Oh, it's getting dangerous. Uh oh. <laughs> the big bass is going to eat the little bass. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Got me one, finally. It's the first bass I've gotten in years. Oh, come on now. Leave me a skunk. <laughs> yes, yeah, get here. There he is, straight down. So, looking at it. Just gonna leave it right there. Oh, here it comes. He's thinking about it. There you go. Right on, Fish on, baby. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slow down there, Turbo. You get out in the deep area where I can't get hung up. Yeah, keep your balls just down low. Gosh, look at that, guys. Oh Oh, nice. I think we got him. Pretty well hooked, from what I can tell. 
Got them on my G Loomis, my brand new G Loomis IMX Pro. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. <laughs> Three pounder all day. Woo! I love it. It's all good. There you go, there's Brian. All right, guys. Nice big old fish. He took my worm finally. We had. To... Oh man, he's a big one. I had to <laughs> pester him pretty hard to get him to bite. But we got him. Took us all day. Okay, thank you for playing. Norman, thanks for taking me out today. Yeah, no problem. Show me how to do it. Let's get him back in. There he goes. You go to recuperate a little bit. Heading for the deep. And I didn't think I'd be able to get a bass today. I was ready to go home and save Pooey on it, but this guy keep trying. I must the bite just turned on or something. <laughs> Another couple pounder maybe. Oh, boy. It's like right, wait for the right time of day. Yeah. Didn't want to settle down yet. I there you go. Gotta get that finger in there, right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm, let me get something to grab it with these pliers. Wow. It's too hot here to not take a little swim in the, in the water. So, I'm gonna go get wet. Have me some fun. Looks like, it, looks like it gets deep real quick right here. Oh, there we go. Whew, burr. Oh, we're gonna go for a little swim first here. Nice and cool. We out of the weeds for a sec? Yeah. I'm gonna try. Now she went up on the inside of the Yeah, I see it. I'll probably get I'll probably get lost on them, but there's oh, the other one. Big one right next to him. Uh, can you nose me over to him and I'll get him? I'm sorry, I'm screwing up the That's hole. Right. I had nowhere to go with him. Uh, did he give me the slip? Nope, he's still there. I'm going to have to get in the water. Catch him. I can get him out if I can get down there, but I just gotta get out of the boat. You want me to bring you over here so you get out of the yeah. boat? Yeah, just back, back up where we were, I guess, and yeah, I'll just hop out. another big one right there. Nice. <laughs> Where's Ryan? You know, always trying to the fish. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, right there is good. And I can just 
wade my way in there and un unwind him. Perfect. Yeah, still got my GoPro on. We're gonna get down dirty here. We're going for it. Oh, I'm gonna get deep. Got him. <laughs> and it does. kind of fun. I'm glad I had already gotten in the water so it wasn't a question. No, I lost the worm. I hooked my shirt with my hook. I just decided to unhook him while he was still snagged. That's, I know, isn't it nice? It's like that twitching rod I got, man. You could beat something to death with it. That lamb glass twitching rod I got. It's a 7.9, but compared to this, I was looking to beat something to death with it. Help me out here. Now, don't you need a, you want to put a bullet weight on top of that first? No, I haven't been. Oh, you haven't been? Okay. Just naturally dropping it. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I'll be able to pass that thing. It's a little big one there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's probably feeling left out. Yeah, because there should be two of them in there. That was pretty fun though to go unhook him from the brush. Yeah, I bet. I just had to de-hook de him literally because right. I couldn't unhook him and then I cut my hook off. Huh. Oh, wow, you can't really see him now. The glare is different. A little bit. I used to have a lot of luck just letting a worm fall off of a log because yeah. they'd be laying under it. Oh, yeah. Look how big that stump is. 
all you guys out there in YouTube land. That's big, big tree. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna get out of here. Man, what a zoo. All these people. So that's what you get for coming here on a weekend. Anywho, thanks for watching. Until next time. You guys get out there and have yourself some adventures.